guys, welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time to come across our channel, consider subscribing. By the way, support this channel by pressing that, hitting that notification bell. You will be the first to know when I upload the new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. I appreciate it. For the new subscribers, please consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell. It will be the only way that you'll be updated when I upload a new videos. Today's video, we are going to look at the latest travel restriction and update, latest travel updates regarding the uplifting of the restrictions in different countries in the Gulf and the world at large. Remember, we are talking about the latest uh, travel uh, lifting in the UAE. And in this video, we are going to talk about uh, the UAE residents. Very good news for the UAE residents. What am I talking about? Is that you do not need to have an approval to return back to the UAE. Remember, as one of the precautionary measures or as one of the measures of uplifting the COVID-19 restriction, the UAE, the UAE government has scrapped off what you call the GDRFA approval. It is not required for any travel in the UAE. What does it mean? For any fully vaccinated individual with a valid residence visa returning to UAE, you no longer need an approval to return to the UAE or to Dubai Airport or to the Abu Dhabi Airport. That is the latest, that is the latest update that is coming from, from the UAE government. Remember, before there was a lot of uh, before there was a lot of restrictions that you needed to apply for approval to return back to UAE, either through what you call the GD, RFA, or ISPA. That is the General Director of Residence and Foreign Affairs, uh, Federal Authority for Identity and Citizenship, and what you call the Customs Security. Those two uh, portals is what you use to to. to to apply before you can be accepted to have your travel back to UAE. As part, part of the latest travel measures, all these have been uplifted and now all fully vaccinated residents with a valid visa, you can freely return to the UAE without an approval or without filling in an approval form to be accepted in the UAE. Remember, we are looking at this latest travel requirements and what lesson does it give you that now the fully vaccinated people for poor people who have uh, originally taken the three doses uh, of, of the vaccine or the two doses of the approved vaccines in this uh, country or the UAE they will now have more privileges than people who are not vaccinated Remember, if you are not vaccinated, then you will need to take what we call a negative PCR test that is in the 48 hours before travel and again you will need to take another PCR test as you reach the Dubai airport within 24 hours. So that becomes a little bit inconveniencing to some people. But remember, for the fully vaccinated people uh, that have taken the approved doses, we're talking about the approved vaccines. Uh, when we talk about the Moderna, the Pfizer, the Johnson Johnson, Johnson, Swatanis Guard, the Sinopharm, now have much more privileges to travel without any hassle at this time. And remember, uh, and remember, uh, the UAE government also still stresses and says that for the visitors, for if you're a visitor and you've been outside the UAE for the last six months, you will be allowed to come back in the country. Uh, 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 you will be allowed to come in the country provided you fulfill the requirement of being vaccinated at that time. But if you're not vaccinated, you probably need to take what we call negative PCR test with you um, in the last 48 uh, hours and also another negative uh, PCR test that is on arrival at the UAE airports or Dubai or Abu Dhabi or Sharija in the last 24 hours. All uh, this applies to all Emirates that make up the UAE. And remember, in this kind of uh, this kind of regards, in this kind of regards, all the national carriers, the Etihad, the Fly Dubai, all have really received the protocols to update their travel protocols or to update uh, their travel restrictions, they were, uh, including Air India has also updated 
its 12 requirement and protocols as regarding to returning to the UAE. At the same time, remember uh, the private approval also required residents of Syria and other Emirates also uh, uh, give them a chance for that kind of matter. And uh, uh, really, this is really very good news for travelers that are going to be coming to Dubai because you no longer need to have what you call an approval, uh, what we call the GD, RFA, and the ICA for approval to return to Dubai or to return to Abu Dhabi Airport or Dubai Airport or returning to the Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for supporting. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell. It will be the only way that you'll be updated uh, when I upload a new video. And it is the only way that uh, is going to up, uh, to motivate me to make more videos. By the way, don't give, no, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment in the uh, comment section. I'll always be more than happy to get back to you. See you again in the next video as we try to look at more travel restrictions. We look at more jobs uh, in the Gulf. We look at more opportunities. We look at personal branding and we look at personal opportunities in one more than Thank you so much. See you again in the next video as we try to look at more of these travel restrictions. Thank you so much. It's Max from Max Creation Daily. See you again in the next video.